Now, what is a quasi-static process? Let's take a small example. Let's consider a cylinder filled with gas. This gas is being compressed using a piston. Three weights are placed on the piston which regulates how much pressure is applied by the piston. Let's call the initial state with three weights on the piston as state 1. Now, one of the weights is removed. Because of this, the pressure and volume in the system changes. Let's call this new state as state 2. Similarly, another weight is removed and the new state, let's say state 3, is obtained. Finally, the last weight is removed and the final state is obtained. We'll plot this on a PV diagram. As you can see, there are two intermediate states between state 1 and state 4, namely state 2 and state 3. This means that the gas under compression has to pass through states 2 and 3 to reach state 4. According to the theory of quasi-static process, this change in state is infinitesimally slow. 